Hello everyone, so today I'm making a quick tutorial video <coughs> and it's going to be me showing how to install the DLC for Blue Dragon and have it run on Xenia. Now this can apply to pretty much any game this same method but I am specifically going to be showing how to install it for Blue Dragon in this case. <coughs> so as you can see we're going to be starting off on our Xbox 360 here <coughs> and what you want to do is go over to games, go add-ons for DLC and once it loads you want to go to search by pressing Y <coughs> and search for the game that you are using in this case I'm going to use Blue Dragon as my example and this is a terrible keyboard I'll tell you that for this alright and then search for Blue Dragon and once it loads We'll see, we have our DLC, so we have six handy treasures, shuffle dungeon, and ultra hard mod. <clears throat> now I already own all of these, so I won't have to buy them. So I'm going to download all of these DLCs. So download each of these and I'll be back when they've downloaded. Alright, now as you can see all three of our DLCs are downloaded. Now that was pretty quick because none of the DLCs in this game are very large, but they are. Uh, they offer a lot of new content for not a lot of file space taken up, so it's pretty nice. So now, what we're going to want to do is go to our installed hard drive in our console. Mine's only the original 20 gigs, so that's why I've got 5 gigs remaining. And then we want to go to our games and apps, and I'm going to go down to Blue Dragon, in this case. Could be whatever game you're using. And now I can see all three DLCs here. So what we're going to want to do is connect a external storage device. I'm using a portable hard drive here that's two terabytes, so that's more than enough space. And we are going to copy each of these DLCs over to our USB storage device. Now make sure that your USB storage device is either formatted as FAT32, or if it isn't already, uh, be willing to wipe your entire device because FAT32 is quite a old um, format standard. It was used back mainly with Windows XP, so not a lot of modern systems were using it. Anyway, so now let's go check our USB storage device. And if I go to Blue Dragon, I can see Shuffle Dungeon, Ultra Hard Mod, and Six Treasures. So they're all installed now. So now what we're going to want to do is shut down our console because we don't need that anymore and then give me one second here while I switch over to my PC all right now that we're back over on my PC and we have our external device connected to our PC we're going to start off with grabbing our files and making sure yep so external device H content and then we're going to go to in this case the folder with all zeros this is our games for my game saves and dumps and this is my game file here and then you want to go to the folder that ends in a 2 and these are our three DLCs that I downloaded so what we're going to want to do is now open velocity extract these and we also want to open our Xenia content folder so I'm going to go to my Xenia folder I'm going to content and search for my game there we go and here's loading there we go and then 002 and first one we're going to do is this one so I'm going to right click rename grab the name of the file and make a new folder, name of that file. Now, grab that file, put it in here, we go extract all. And we want to put that in this folder, these files. So select folder. Now if I refresh, that seems to have put on my desktop, I think. Why has it done that? It has. That's not what I wanted at all. Why has it done that? 
Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> so, extract all to this folder. There we go, select folder. Here we go, now it's here, okay. So now next, we are going to grab this file. And we're going to go rename, copy the name, P new folder, name of that file, extract all, grab the name of this folder, copy that into there, select folder, it's two DLCs down, one to go, and the third one, and grab the name, copy, uh, copy the name, new folder, paste that, and now go to here, get that folder name, extract all, and select folder. And now, we've got all three of our DLCs here. Now to verify that, all we do is open up Xenia. I haven't updated mine for a while, but this will work anyway. I'm going to load up my Blue Dragon Disk 3, because I can choose that disk. It's going to load. And now, the moment of truth, because I've got the New Game Plus DLC, which is the Ultra Hard, Loading downloadable content, that's a good sign. And we have a new game plus. Okay. Load <coughs> our save. Now I go items. Valuables. Debbie Phonograph, that's from the Handy Items DLC. And now, the final test will be if the Shuffle Dungeon Cube is added. And then press the wrong keys again. So let's navigate over to there, which is this cube here that Annoyingly enough, doesn't show up on the map as one of the cubes that is accessible, but it's a DLC that was made afterwards. For a game that doesn't have a very robust DLC system, how do I know that? I know people that are reverse engineering this game, and it's going to be very easy to sideload custom user mods. But as you can see, it is loaded. We are here in the DLC area. I've noticed the bug though, sometimes this DLC area fails to load, it has loaded. So yes, all three of DLC are all working. So as you can see, success. So thank you everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe and share if you know someone that wants to use Xenia and wants to install DLCs. So this method will work for any 360 game uh, as far as I'm aware. So this is specifically Blue Dragon, but should work for any other game. Just use the folders, or the names of the DLC folders that are required in the correct folders. It should all work. Anyway, I'll see you all in another video. Bye. Yeah.